Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to write a React component from scratch. React, um, now that you've learned the basics of JSX and React components, it's time to write a component on your own. Uh, React components are the core building block of React applications, so it's important to become very familiar with writing them. Remember, a typical React component is an ES6 class, which extends React.component. It has a renderer method that returns HTML from JSX or null. This is the basic form of a React component. Once you understand this well, you will be prepared to start building more complex React projects. Define a class my component that extends react.component. Uh, its render method should return a div that contains an h1 tag within the text my first react component. In it, use the text exactly. Use this text exactly. The case and punctuation matter. Make sure to call the constructor for your component as well. R render this component to the DOM using React DOM dot render. This is a div with an ID challenge node available uh, for you to use. Um, okay, cool. Yeah, let's get started. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is define a class. So class my component, right? And uh, I'm just going to stretch this out so it's easier to read. My component that extends react.component. And I think that we put it in like that. A class. I don't think that we need a, a circle there or a uh, cr cr uh, two uh, curved brakes, two braces. But uh, for now, we'll just put it in here. And if I have to fix it, then we'll do that later. Uh, we want it to have a render function. So render. And inside of that function, we want it to return render method should return a div that contains an h1 element a div okay so we've got div which contains an h1 element div close div and within here we want to have an h1 element with the uh, my first react component I'll put an exclamation point um, Use this text exactly. The case and punctuation matter. Make sure to call the constructor for your component. Okay, so uh, render this component to the DOM using DOM React. So yeah, we're going to go uh, React DOM dot render. And what are we going to render there? We're going to, there's a div with an ID of challenge node. So let's get a target. Let's, let's let uh, our target URL. Okay, so... Um, Target, target node, and we're going to set that equal to, well, let me just show you first. I'm going to inspect the page over here. If we go in, we see there's the body here. We're going to do, we want to <clears throat> put our component here and assign it to this challenge node element in the DOM. So each of these little things represents a bit, you know, there, we, there's the ID for the root as well, but we're, we want to use challenge node for here. So what we're going to say is document dot uh, get uh, get element by ID. So we're getting the element by ID, and we know that it's the ID is challenge node. Okay, and I'm just going to stretch this out a little bit more. And so we want to render my component, and in there we're going to render it to the target node. Okay, and so it doesn't work. Let's see. If I run the tests, what happens? Okay, my component should render to the DOM. So we're not rendering it to the DOM. But the good news is that we have... Uh, my component should contain an H1 tag. That means that it's recognizing that, that we're, we're able to pass the class into here. And so... Um, yeah, oh, awesome. Okay, so when we render components using this one, we have to actually make it... Um, we, ha we have to add the component uh, structure rather than just the um, the JSX. We can't just render JSX because it's a component. So we um, want to make it so that the components um, formulated like this because we're passing in a component 
rather than a JSX uh, variable. And I think that will, yeah, well, this is now rendering to the DOM, so I think that that's the, the right answer. Um, I think that this is not complete. You would want to add, I think it's called um, props here. And then like do something like super props. For, uh, I can't remember though. And I'm, I don't think that it's necessary for this one. We're passing the test right now. Um, let's just clean up the code a little bit. Now we've got a nice looking solution. Um, yeah, I guess for now that's just going to be as good as we can do here. Uh, I don't work with React a lot, so I'm learning this along the way. I still hope that you can find this video useful. Uh, once again, we're creating a component. And what if we call the render um, function on this component, it is going to return a blob of J it's going to return a blob of JSX. And this is the JSX. Now, if we were to just um, put this JSX in, like, into here, uh, I think, yeah, if we were to just assign this one to um, let test JSX equal, yeah, uh, and, oh, we'd want to add it, we'd want to make it in brackets. So here I've got a JSX blog, test JSX. Now if I were to put this into here, let's say my uh, second, or this is just a JSX blog, right? And if I were to render the test JSX instead of my component to the target node, we'd get our JSX blob. This is what we were doing before. But because we're rendering components in here, when we have to format it in the way that React needs it to be formatted. And this is what I had uh, struggled with earlier. So now we render the component in like this, but we render JSX blobs like that. And so that's kind of an important kind of tricky thing to get your head around when you're first doing this. So yeah, even though this, this code's in here, but it doesn't make a difference to the test. So this is actually just some worthless uh, code that you don't actually need to have there. But um, yeah, so once again, <clears throat> this is the uh, JSX blob. It's within a component. The component renders the JSX blob, and then we have our components stored in the computer because it transpiles down like this. So it says, okay, got it. This is my component. And then we come down here, and we set the target node equal to the position on the DOM that we want. And so this guy, this goes, take the whole website, and it says, search the whole website for an element with the ID of challenge node. And we know now if we inspect here, this is within challenge node. So it's saying what we're doing is taking all the code in the component and rendering it. We're saying React, render our component to the target node position. And uh, that's how it works. Cool. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this one, and we'll see you in the next lesson.